What up, Don't Feed the Gamers? It's me, your old uh, radical pal, Corey, here. I'm with the cool dudes at King Bone Press here at C2E2, and uh, I'm here to talk to them about some of the comics they've got available here, uh, and uh, especially uh, Kingdom of Skulls and uh, Bulletproof Chicken. Those ones definitely caught my eye. <laughs> Can you guys tell me, I guess, so we'll start with Kingdom of Skulls. Can you guys tell me about that one? Yeah, that's yeah. Ray's project, so we'll let you tell them about it. Yeah, Kingdom of Skulls is my book. It's, um, it's about a legacy character uh, that, uh, Skull King. Um, the mantle of the king has been passed down through many generations, and it's basically just a story of how it's gotten passed down and the different things that have gone on in there, like in between. So it's pretty cool. Uh, it's 36 pages, there's three different stories, um, a lot of different history of the kingdom. Um, it's basically a 36 pages, black and white, so it's a little pinup by some friends of mine in there too. Yeah. Yeah, I opened it up and yeah, I like the black and white art style. Yeah. I like it definitely feels like reminiscent of like Neil Gaiman and like a lot of like classic like dark nineties comics and I love right. that aesthetic so much. So oh yeah. I think yeah. it like it totally fits. Like yeah. um uh, so like are all the people uh do they have skulls or is it like the like, skull is actually it's a crown. It's the crown it's itself. Like a helmet, yeah. I so gotcha. They're, they're actual people but it's it's like a something that yeah. they put on top of their head. Gotcha. Yeah. Would uh what is uh, Ken Bone allowed in that kingdom or not? From the, uh, I don't know if you remember Ken Bone from the election. He was that guy with the no, red sweater. No, he's out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. I don't blame you. Yeah, that dude's dude style is a little bit out of whack. But so um, I heard now. Is this the one that you uh, had music uh, made for? Yeah. Uh, if you go on SoundCloud and search Kingdom of Skulls, did a soundtrack for it. It was a stretch goal for the Kickstarter that I ran. Yeah. Uh, but if you go on SoundCloud, search Kingdom of Skulls, it's free to listen to and download on there also. Nice. So you made like the you guys made that music like. And with Ray the, did it all. All we gave yeah. Ray was the name and 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 some retweets. He really did it all. Nice. Uh, so like you made that music with the intention of like having people like listening to it like while they're reading yeah. to like yeah, that, that's give them the, the feel. Yeah. The music actually might go a little bit longer than it, it does. To, yeah, it depending on how if you're a slow like, reader like me yeah. and you have to like <laughs> read like every word out loud and, and mouth it. Yeah, I know how that goes. But, yeah, but that it, is it, it's but it's the song titles are kind of based on you know stuff that's happening throughout the book and it's in order. So yeah. Hypothetically, you should be able to listen to it while you're reading it. It gives you just kind of a background. Yeah, I think that's really interesting because it like will definitely, I think, help you know help the reader like get more like you know invested into that world and feel like more immersed in it. Right. And, like, yeah. It's not. It's not the most. I mean, I, I've known some other people that do it. A friend of ours did it too for his for his book for Kickstarter. But I just I thought it would be a really cool extra thing to do for yeah. especially for people that back to Kickstarter and hopefully maybe just some good promotion too to get the. The name out there. Yeah, I think yeah. Ray did a good job. I think with, with the Kickstarter and crowdfunding, you want to offer people something extra for right. supporting you, for getting your book out there, and that was yeah. you know really important to him. Was to try to find something that wasn't gonna you know increase the shipping cost by a hundred dollars or, or yeah. printing costs, you know, but something of value that yeah it, would, it makes you want to go back and listen to the book. Yeah. It comes up on your you know when you're listening on uh, uh, you know in a car or something like that. If you're, if you're like, hey, I want to listen to it, it reminds you of the book. It keeps yeah. you on your mind. It gives you a little something to take away then that, that, you know, yeah and it totally like gets the other senses involved like when you're right. you know, and yeah. that person's like trying yeah, to like, you know, being job. like introduced to that world do uh, do you recommend any good uh smells or tastes <laughs> if this uh, story is beer beer Lots beer's of beer. good nice yeah. any specific uh, uh, brew ipa is definitely yeah that sounds about right very yeah goes nice. very good with some <laughs> Any smells like brimstone or yeah, nice probably, molten yeah, metal? Dice? Like that. Yeah, like I think that'd yeah. be good. Okay. Yeah, I think it smells like evil or death. Yeah, that's pretty good. Good, a good call, I Sanitary think. Sanitary smell. Nice. Call that. Yeah. <laughs> whatever, whatever gets you dead. Uh, so, what about some of the other stories you guys have here? What, what do you? What other? What are these uh, other? I could probably talk about bulletproof chicken. Yeah. yeah well, so, so one of the books that we. Uh, started out with uh, Bob Gar and I, uh, Bob Ornelis uh, and myself, John West, up. we uh, kind of teamed up together about eight years ago, and we were actually here at C2E2, yeah. we went to Harold's Chicken Shack, we got some nice. meat, bulletproof glass, bulletproof chicken, they served chicken by, yeah. and I said, we're making That's a new comic, genius. and it literally was from that uh, meal perfect. that day, so we Harold's. made bulletproof chicken, Nice. Um, and it's exactly what you think it is, you know, it's over the top 80s action movie with, yeah. you know, an anthropomorphic chicken who can't be killed or can't be killed. Oh, that's great. So it's, it's you know, it's a pretty easy sell. Yeah, nice. That's <laughs> so that was cool. kind of, what started as a joke actually was our most successful Kickstarter at the time and our most successful to date. Yeah. Uh, okay. People really loved it. It's, you know, it's just an easy, cool thing for people to come up yeah, and draw totally. the table. So yeah, we've, we've had a lot of fun. It actually has two issues. Nice. Cool. I've, I've read some of the, like, the synopsis of the story. Uh, what's the name of the, that gang that he fights? 
the, the, the Buster Clux. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that name. That's so perfect. Does it have any, like, so does it have any, like, other, like, like does it have, like, a bunch of chicken puns and, like, it has a few. It, nice? it has a few. Awesome. It has That's pretty great. I, I, I try not to push it too much because right. you know, it gets a little much, but, you know. It yeah, is, it gets you. Yeah. yeah, it takes you too much out of the story. But the sec the saying, second but. one is actually, a, it's two prequels and a sequel. Uh, in one issue and some other stuff so we were like if we're going to go over the top we're going to do like you know we did a bunch of different eras he was in and all kinds of crazy shit yeah we had really a lot of fun with the second issue oh wow that's tons nice. of great artists worked with us on it so it was a lot of fun yeah no, that's 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 really great um so and then quickly like what about with some of these other stories that you uh have here well i've read a lot of the stories for us again because yeah. um i've heard you know, i'm one of the co-publishers but like we have harry boyer here with us who you know, we try to bring in other people who can bring, you know, because it was just me and Bob, you know, we'd be kind of, right. you know, we have the same style. So we bring in people like Ray and Harry. Yeah. Uh, and Harry has his um, new mini comics right here. Uh, again, very different from what Ray and I were describing. Yeah. You, These know, are... you see Salt Lick, which is an anthology series. Yeah. Uh, Bell Beast, which is, uh, it's actually a, a fold open comic. So oh, he can kind of show you. So basically the story actually, you know, literally unfolds and goes from... Just being wow. like this quarter size mini yeah, comic. That's cool. So like the story progresses as like the way yeah, and it you're intended to like unfold it. That's that's pretty sweet. And it goes across, you know, all four yeah. issues. And it's kind of just like a story about a, it's a bit of a mystery. Yeah. People in a family are all getting that's, sort of that is really clever. I like it. it's like yeah, and it's got like kind of like a nice short story kind of feel to it for comics, which you don't really see terribly often stuff like that. And I think these are like really great for like gifts and stuff like that. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, so uh, where can people find your stuff on social media? And well, we're King Bone Press uh, on everything: uh, okay. uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, kingbonepress at gmail.com if you want yeah. to send us a message if you see our books we have uh, free stuff on our website kingbonepress.com nice. so we do offer that as well you know if comics are expensive these days we also have free offerings there oh, nice. issues you can download links to web comics we've done so yeah we've been doing this for about eight years and we're running a ton of different people we're happy to be back at c2e2 it's our first time in three years that we've been here so awesome dude yeah. well it was a pleasure talking to no, all thank of you, you guys thank you, and, you so yeah, much thank you so much yeah, and i'll be able to second your stuff out in the future and uh, make sure to uh, stay tuned to Don't Feed the Gamers for all the latest games and comic news. See you guys.